We want to know how you feel like you're originally living from, born and raised from Charlotte. Like, people want to know how is it, what's changed over the years, how you feel about it living here. And what should they expect when they come here? Well, uh. This is Adrian, Sydney's cousin. Well, you talked to me about, uh, remember what I just told you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we texting back and forth all the time. We're like, hey, cuz, uh, you sent me, like, a picture of, like, a needle, a knife. A gun, all this stuff. Like, why you want to come to North Carolina so bad? Like, I ain't running from nobody. I just want to be with my kids, remember? Facts. Yeah. <laughs> well, being from Charlotte's a blessing. Because uh, before Charlotte became the city, you know what I'm saying, on the map, it was this little small country town. You know, it was always compared to Atlanta. You know, Atlanta was the shit, you know, the biggest city, you know, uh, other than from D.C. You had D.C., you had Atlanta. But Charlotte was always the, the, the stop, you know, the stopping point, you know what I'm saying? So being from here is like a blessing because I was here before it was big. I was here now and I'm still here. So being from Charlotte is just like seeing growth, you know what I'm saying? Being raised and born and raised in Charlotte just shows you growth. It shows you opportunity. It shows you where you can be in life. And, um, you know, I was in Charlotte when we had one tall building downtown. You know, this was before Bank of America. It was Wachovia. You know, then Wachovia got bought out. I, mean, I ain't gonna say bought out, but they switched over to, no, it was First Union, let's be facts here. Uh, just before we had a um, a transit city, a transit center, we had the square, Trade and Trine. That's where the buses dropped you off and got picked up at. So it was just one of them deals where, you know, being born and raised in Charlotte, it just shows that you have to grow with the city. Uh, you know, they say we're the fastest growing city in, in the United States, and I believe it. Um, it's just one of them deals where you just got to be quick on your feet. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect where you at, know where you at. You know, it's still a certain size of the, of the, of the community or the, of the neighborhood or the city that I don't go to. So tell us about that because some people want to okay. know what so, really, <clears throat> areas. So I was born in Hinton Valley, North Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Zone 2 Hinton Valley to be exact. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of shit. You, you probably have heard a lot about Hinton Valley, but it ain't really what they, what they said. It was just a community where it gave blacks opportunity. You know what I'm saying? My granddad was probably one of the second or third black people to move on uh, over there in the 60s, 70s. And it was just one of them deals where he knew that he had to get his kids out of the country. You know, he grew up in the country. And it was one of them deals where moving to Hinton Valley was an opportunity. And we still own a house over there. House is paid for, you know, taxes paid up. You know, the white man could never take it from us. You know what I'm saying? He never would take it from us. Uh, but it's just one of them deals where Charlotte is like a small version of the world where it shows me that it's going to grow with you or without you. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of them deals where you have to stay on your P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head on the swivel. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I would leave Charlotte one day and it's going to happen. But today, tomorrow, and the day after the next, I'm not leaving Charlotte. Um, it's a lot of opportunity here. All the banks are here. Everyone's moving their headquarters here. And it's just one of them deals where, you know, I, I tell people, I'm like, you know, they was going to move to Georgia. I said, why are you moving to Georgia? Who's was going to move to Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah, yeah why? Like, nah. Look at Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta, crazy. I respect Atlanta, but Atlanta, <laughs> a different breed. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for Atlanta. And it was just one of them deals where, what was it, about five years ago? Mm -hmm. I was like, look, bro, this is coming to Charlotte. And they moved here. They moved to Steel Creek when Steel Creek was nothing but trees and factories. Now look at Steel Creek. Steel Creek is one of the biggest growing communities in in the city. So it's like, that's true. Come here, you know, get your feet ground, get grounded. You know what I'm saying? His wife worked in the hospital. He worked in the post office. It was like, look, come here, and I got you. Ain't nobody messing with nobody. He just, mm -hmm. you gotta stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them deals where there's a lot of knuckleheads here. It's a lot of drugs here. It's a lot of poverty here. But it's a lot of money here. And it's one of them deals where if you stay in your lane, uh, come up with a master plan, do what you got to do, you don't got to force nothing. It's going to come. And it's just one of them deals where, again, you know what I'm saying? My dad, mom, you know, mom and dad, they always talk about leaving Charlotte, but I'm glad we never left Charlotte because if we would have left Charlotte, I would have missed the opportunity of raising my family in the suburbs, raising my, you know, my kids, my wife. Been married 10 years now, and it's uh, one of the deals with my mom. She still lives in Hemp Valley, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? 
three or four times a week I'm over there to go check in on her. And they ain't really even checking in on her because she, she OG status. So I got to check in on her. I'm just going to visit her. She said they don't mess with her, right? Yeah, they ain't going to mess with her. No reason. They know the business. She's been there so long. Yeah, me and my brother, you know, we talk about it all the time. Like, I'll probably leave Charlotte before he leave. But this is one of them deals where Charlotte is just a blessing. And anyone who was born here, you, you know. Like, I was here before the Panthers. I was here before... The Charlotte Knights. I was here before we had a stadium downtown. Before uh, the Hornets were even playing downtown. It's just it's a blessing. Pretty much how I, I break it down living in Charlotte, being born and raised. And this is one of them deals where if anybody who wants to come to Charlotte, please come. But just come correct. Come with a game plan. Um, stay in your lane. Don't try to be extra because at the end of the day, the knuckleheads are still around. They're going to pull your car. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the north side. I respect the north side. Shout out to the west, east, south. Hey, y'all do y'all, but I'm in the north side. And this is what I know. That's what I, I was born into it. Um, you know, rest in peace to all my uncles, all my aunts who have ever taught me and showed me anything. And the things they have, they have taught me have just blossomed into a, um, a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Married 10 years now. Three kids, a uh, couple of failed businesses, but right now I got a, a good business going on. Walls Q Shop. Well, uh, this is Adrian, Sydney's cousin. Well, you, you talked to me about uh, remember my, what I just told you, right? Mm -hmm. Like we texting back and forth all the time. We're like, hey, cuz, uh, you sent me like a picture of like a needle, a knife. A gun, all this stuff. Like, why you want to come to North Carolina so bad? Like, I ain't running from nobody. I just want to be with my kids, remember? Facts. Yeah. <laughs> well, being from Charlotte is a blessing. Because uh, before Charlotte became the city, you know what I'm saying, on the map, it was a little small country town. You know, it was always compared to Atlanta. You know, Atlanta was the shit, you know, the biggest city, you know, uh, other than from D.C. You had D.C., you had Atlanta. But Charlotte was always the, the, the stop, you know, the stopping point, you know what I'm saying? So being from here is like a blessing because I was here before we was big. I was here now and I'm still here. So being from Charlotte is just like seeing growth, you know what I'm saying? Being raised and born and raised in Charlotte just shows you growth. It shows you opportunity. It shows you where you can be in life. And, um, you know, I was in Charlotte when we had one tall building downtown. You know, this was before Bank of America. It was Wachovia. You know, then Wachovia got bought out. I, mean, I ain't gonna say bought out, but they switched over to, no, it was First Union, let's be facts here. Uh, this is before we had a um, a transit city, a transit center, we had the square, Trade and Trine. That's where the buses dropped you off and got picked up at. So it was just one of them deals where, you know, being born and raised in Charlotte, it just shows that you have to grow with the city. Um, you know, they say we're the fastest growing city in, in the United States, and I believe it. Um, it's just one of them deals where you just got to be quick on your feet. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect where you at, know where you at. You know, it's still a certain size of the, of the, of the community or the, of the neighborhood or the city that I don't go to. So tell us about that because some people want to okay. know what so, really, <clears throat> areas. So I was born in Hinton Valley, North Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Zone 2 Hinton Valley to be exact. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of shit. You, you probably have heard a lot about Hinton Valley, but it ain't really what they, what they said. It was just a community where... It gave blacks opportunity. You know what I'm saying my granddad was probably one of the second or third black people to move on uh, over there in the '60s, '70s, and it was just one of them deals where he knew that he had to get his kids out of the country. You know, they grew up in the country, and it was one of them deals where moving to Hinton Valley was an opportunity. And we still own a house over there. House is paid for. You know, taxes paid up. You know, the white man could never take it from us. You know, what I'm saying he never would take it from us. Uh, but it's just one of them deals where. Charlotte is like a small version of the world where it shows me that it's going to grow with you or without you. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of them deals where you have to stay on your P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head on the swivel. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I would leave Charlotte one day and it's going to happen. But today, tomorrow, and the day after the next, I'm not leaving Charlotte. Um, it's a lot of opportunity here. All the banks are here. Everyone's moving their headquarters here, and it's just one of them deals where you know I, I tell people I'm like you know they was gonna move to Georgia. I said why are you moving to Georgia? Who's gonna move to Atlanta? Atlanta, yeah, yeah why? Like, nah. Look at Charlotte. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Atlanta crazy. I respect Atlanta, but Atlanta <laughs> a different breed. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for Atlanta. And it was just one of them deals where, what was it, about five years ago? Mm -hmm. I was like, look, bro, this is coming to Charlotte. And they moved here. They moved to Steel Creek when Steel Creek was nothing but trees and factories. Now look at Steel Creek. Steel Creek is one of the biggest growing communities in, in the city. So it's like, that's true. come here, you know, get your feet ground, get grounded. You know what I'm saying? His wife worked in the hospital. He worked in the post office. It was like, look. Come here and I got you. Ain't nobody messing with nobody. You just, mm -hmm. you got to stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? This is one of them deals where there's a lot of knuckleheads here. There's a lot of drugs here. There's a lot of poverty here. But there's a lot of money here. And this is one of them deals where if you stay in your lane, uh, come up with a master plan, do what you got to do, you don't got to force nothing. It's going to come. And this is one of them deals where, again, you know what I'm saying? My dad, mom, you know, mom and dad, they always talk about leaving Charlotte, but. I'm glad we never left Charlotte because if we would have left Charlotte, I would have missed the opportunity of raising my family in the suburbs, raising my, you know, my kids, my wife. Been married ten years now, and it's uh, one of the deals. My mom, she still lives in Hemp Valley. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Three, four times a week, I'm over there to go check in on her. And they ain't really even checking in on her because she, she OG status. So I gotta check in on her. I'm just going to visit her. She said they don't mess with her. Right? Yeah, they ain't gonna mess with her. No reason. They know the business. She's been there so long. Yeah, me and my brother, you know, we talk about it all the time, like. I'll probably leave Charlotte before he leave, but this is one of them deals where Charlotte is just a blessing. And anyone who was born here, you, you you know. Like I was here before the Panthers. I was here before the Charlotte Knights. I was here before we had a stadium downtown. Before uh, the Hornets were even playing downtown. It's just it's a blessing. Pretty much how I, I break it down. Living in Charlotte, being born and raised, and this is one of them deals where if anybody who wants to come to Charlotte, please come, but just come correct. Come with a game plan. Um, stay in your lane. Don't try to be extra because at the end of the day, the knuckleheads are still around. They're going to pull your card. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the north side. I respect the north side. Shout out to the west, east, south. Hey, y'all do y'all, but I'm in the north side. And that's just what I know. That's what I, I was born into it. Um, you know, rest in peace to all my uncles, all my aunts who have ever taught me and showed me anything. And the things they have they have taught me have just blossomed into a, um, a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying, married ten years now, three kids, a uh, couple of failed businesses, but right now I got a, a good business going on. Walls Q, shout out to Walls Q. Yeah, we're gonna do that soon. <laughs> we're gonna smoke some shit back. Oh here. yeah, they're gonna bring Bertha over here. Yeah, Br bring her over here. And she come. <laughs> it is one of them deals where it's it's a blessed thing. So like. When I read it in the magazines and the news line and the news and, and all this that Charlotte's the fastest growing city, I see it, but I don't feel it because I'm in my lane. Yeah, down, we used to call it downtown, literally downtown was banks and, and uptown shopping and, and expensive eating. But the fact that now I'm doing that, I'm going on staycations, I'm taking my kids downtown. We're riding a train. We didn't have a train five years ago. Seven years ago, we didn't have a train, but now we have a train, uh, the blue line, but now they're working on the green and the red, so it just shows me that growth, and it's just one of the things where, um, you know, again, just blessed being raised in this city when it was a little country town. Like I said, this was a stopping point where your grandma lived at before you was going to Atlanta or Florida, but now people are really stopping here and not leaving, mm -hmm. and it's just one of them deals where I love it. You know what I'm saying? I tell any and everybody, come, just come visit for a weekend, CIAA. Uh, sometimes we have the NCAA tournament in Greensboro. Uh, we got all the colleges here. Shout out to John C. Smith, Golden Bulls. You know, I went to NT myself uh, for a few years. Up in Greensboro. Greensboro. Mm -hmm. But Charlotte is the heart of North Carolina. Yes, Raleigh's the capital. You know, shout out to Raleigh. But Charlotte is the center point of North Carolina. Yeah, we're close to South Carolina, but I feel like Charlotte bridges the gap between North and South Carolina. It's just, uh, it's just a blessed situation to be here. Yeah, it was crazy. We were just talking about it earlier. How you like, like, cause you wanna, um, you wanna move to Atlanta? Look at Charlotte. Just like we said before, right? Mm -hmm. Like, look at Charlotte. You ain't looked at Charlotte. Yeah, look at Charlotte. I look mean, at Charlotte. cause the money you would have spent in Atlanta, you can spend the same amount of money here. Five actually, years ago, that is. Actually, Charlotte is actually Atlanta is more expensive than Charlotte. Right. But Charlotte is bigger. It is. But Atlanta is more expensive. 
it is. I mean, Charlotte, you know, when I say Charlotte, we're talking not just Charlotte, we're talking Concord, Kannapolis, Gastonia, mm -hmm. Shelby, Kings oh, Mountain. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, Charlotte is its own, but it's like a spider web. You know, Fort Mill, Rock Hill. That's South, a, that's South Carolina. Yeah. That's South Carolina, but. Yeah. That's, like, the, our, that's yeah. like our stepbrother and stepsister. Like, we love them. Yeah, we may not agree <laughs> on everything, <laughs> but trust me. You get your money in Charlotte. You live in the suburbs. Your kids go to good schools. And it's a lot of money here. I got a financial advisor who tells me daily that there's, a, which is about a year ago, there's 60 to $70 million that comes through Charlotte unclaimed. So that tells me that I need to step my game up, cuz maybe need to step his game up, but whoever, when you come here, there's money to be made. Yeah. I'm not talking illegal, I'm not talking drugs, I'm talking this legal, hardworking, dedicated money is in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate you letting us know about it. Oh, yeah, I mean, anytime you're born and raised here, born and raised, mm -hmm. born and raised, born and raised. And I remember, um, you know, we went. What we was talking about earlier, you know, our family ties and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, yeah. See, uh, his dad and my mom was older than his dad. So my mom uh, used to clean him up. She brought him home from the hospital and yeah. stuff like that. They used to argue and fight. His dad thought, you know, yeah, I'm grown now. He was a grown man, but my mom ain't never see that. Yeah. That's how she is. He yeah. could tell you that now. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm the youngest of two, but my dad was the youngest of like, what, six, seven? Boy, man. I don't know. I don't know. crazy. You know, it's, you know what I'm saying? 13. I don't know this. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning this. It's a lot of them. But my dad was the but baby. He was from uh, Richmond County, Rockingham, which, if you know football, high school football, Richmond County was the king of football. Until uh, you know, Charlotte came into the picture. Independence High School was Charlotte, and it's a racetrack down there too. Oh yeah, Rockingham Drag Race. Um, you know, we was always down there. Um, NASCAR used to have yeah, races NASCAR. there. Yep. Um, you know, hopefully they bring it back. But it's just one of them deals where it was just, it was just uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It it was just smart that Charlotte grew. The way it grew, and I say shout out to Raleigh. I'm always respect the capital. The capital is in Raleigh, but Charlotte is the unofficial capital of North Carolina. You know, we all know it. I it's know the biggest it. city. It's I agree. The biggest city. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It uh, should be capital. It's just and so much money. We, you know, but part of the reason why we moved out here is because of our kids. Like where we was at in Haymarket, you can't have. It's like we can go uptown any day, right, Adrian? Yeah. Anytime. Free stuff for the kids. All kind of free stuff. All got, kind of free stuff. Uh, museums. Yeah. Like I said, the train is number three, maybe four dollars to ride. You know what I'm saying? Get you anywhere from UNCC, which is our college, which is. I remember when UNCC was this big. Now UNCC is like really on the map. You know what I'm saying? They call it university area. Just you one tell of me videos. stuff I don't even know. NCPCC is huge, and it's a community college. <laughs> It offers a lot. Oh my God, CBCC! Uh, shout out to CBCC Central uh, Piedmont. Central Piedmont mm -hmm. Community College mm -hmm. is, and you know, I hope they do continue to be a community college, but it's so big. I mean, they're downtown, they're in University, and they're in Huntersville, and uh, they're off Harris Boulevard. They're all over. I mean, they're everywhere. I, I be driving sometimes, but like CBCC mm -hmm. West Campus. So, so mm -hmm. it's just one of them deals where. Charlotte has shown me that I personally need to step up. The world, if you're born in Charlotte, need to step up because if you're not grown with Charlotte, you've been left behind. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm blessed to have three kids now, married, and it's just one of them deals where I would have never thought I would still be in Charlotte. You know, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I just knew I was leaving Charlotte. I'm going to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm going to New York. I'm going to VA. Mm -hmm. I'm going Why? Don't go there. I'm not going there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here for the time being, but I know there's going to be a time in life where I will leave Charlotte. I will always have a home in Charlotte. My mom's still here. My aunt, my brother's still here. Um, just, you know, my footprint is here. Um, but there will be a time where I will leave Charlotte, but I will never forget home. And home will always be Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, the Hornets, you, you may catch me in the city. I may have a pet on. The Mellow Bell. Ball. 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 Hey, ball right there. Ball. ball. He's decent. You, yeah. know, you know, we was thinking about getting, remember, season tickets, but, mm. you know, with the COVID. Shout out to COVID. You know, everybody, you know, just, 
you know, protect yourself at all causes, you know what I'm saying, because it's real. Um, we done lost a few people to it, rest in peace to anybody that's ever, you know, lost anyone to it or failed to it. But, uh, you know, post-COVID, hopefully we can, you know, go downtown. Uh, what is it? We even we talked about catching the train one day going downtown, mm -hmm. but we end up, it's just so many. Charlotte's so big, you can literally go to Mallet Creek, uh, Steel Creek, Holland Creek, Ballantyne. I mean, even Bates for Roads have uh, had a face change. And Bates for Roads is a street I would never even dis even think about going on. Really? But now, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to West Side. For what? I they didn't different. know that. You, oh, they different. Oh, yeah. they different. Oh, they different, bro. You know, it's just one of them deals where I grew up in the, the north side of Charlotte. You know, there's a west side, there's an east side, there's a south side. And we have always respected each other, but it was just one of them deals where my business never crossed over there, you mm. know what I'm saying? But now, my business can cross over there because it's a different kind of business now. Um, you know, it's just so much money to be made in Charlotte that you shouldn't hold yourself to just one area. You should have spanned out, meet and greet. I mean, I'm talking about, I talk to millionaires daily. I'm probably gonna talk to a few billionaires, I didn't even know about it, but it's a lot of money in Charlotte. Thank you, Adrian. Anytime. Shout out to our special guest, Adrian, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos on the Gooch Life.